Hello everybody, Princess Bear here. We're back with this October recap video. It's a little bit late, but... Teensy weensy bit. I mean, we're late for everything these days, it We seems. ate a lot of food last month, okay? We did. A whole lot of food. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. Two what? Two buffets. More than two. Two fine dinings. Many things. Many, many things. things. A lot of things happen in October that we weren't expecting, and that's... And a lot of things happen starting November 1st, which is why we're so late for these. this is October recap. These recaps towards the end of the year, I feel like, are harder and harder to do because of how many things I just are new things that are happening. Three, it was three buffets. So Either many way, things, so many let's get things. into it. So we made our usual drinks. Uh, I'm calling this one because it has no name. I just made it up based on what we have now. I'm calling this the Smoked Berry. Okay, well, cheers to the community and Bear's Smoked Berry. Oof. Okay. It, it tastes berry y. Berry y? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Berry y? Yeah. It, it's made the princess specifications. Wait, Jameson? <laughs> no, it's not Jameson. We're going oh. on Jameson. Maybe next time. But there is a double shot of whiskey in there. Okay, okay. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get into our recap for October. So, for the best entree of October. My favorite entree was the slider trio from the Scat Cats. In particular, the fish cake slider. That was... It, it slid... It five. It slid fishy-like down my throat. It that was, was so good. so good. If I thought I would not be doing the non plant-based half of this channel of this service, I could have easily picked that slider and would happily go back for them and the musical stylings of the Jazz Fusion Band. Yes. And More than worth the trip. The island, it was much better than an island cake. I gotta say that. Yes. So I gave that a five. Ah. Must go. For my best entree of the month, which is really weird, I chose Crystal Palace as the place. The smoked salmon, which is the rolled up really herb seasoned salmon. There was nothing special about it. Some normal breakfast salmon. It was delicious. I just wanted to be delicious. on the record that this man did not want to go to Crystal Palace I for breakfast. I do and not I like Disney breakfast. And I dragged his air there. I do not like Disney breakfast. I that dragged not a secret. his air there. I dragged it. I dragged it. Either way, cheers to the best. Now for everybody's favorite category, the worst entree of the month. So we had a, quite a few experiences at the buffets. Yes. But for me, I feel like the tofu scramble with the vegetables was not that good from Cape May when we went, when the characters were back, the first day the characters came back. I think you ended up mixing it with like the just. Uh, and... Yes, I think I did. Um, I gave that one a two and a half out of five and Kate May breakfast is eh. Let's see, I went for the throat for my worst entree of the month. I gave uh, the pulled pork sandwich from Cookies Barbecue on Castaway K an absolute zero. I think they deserved it though. I wanted to spit that all over the table, but the princess was right across from me. And I would have to sit there and look at it. It was a, a fatty, disgusting, unseasoned piece of pork. It was embarrassing. The bun was hard. The pork was terrible. I was not having a good time. I did not enjoy that. It got a flat zero for me. It's been a long time. So I give, I give things a one around here all the time. Zeros do happen, but they're rare. This one definitely deserved it. So cheers to the worst. Oh gosh, do we not want to go back to Cokies? No. I made another cruise one day, but I'm not looking forward to going back to eat on Castaway I K. I love Castaway K, but not the food. No. Or the drink. Not. Not impressed. Best drink of the month. So mine was the, and I'm going to butcher this, so please correct me in the comments, but the Vignetti del Salantono, Salento Legonda. That's a mouthful. It's an Italian wine that was served to us at Victorian Alberts. It was amazing. I gave it a five. It's a good wine. It was a good wine. 
So for my best drink of the month, I gave it to the Big Easy Whiskey Sour from the new menu at Boat Rights. I you thought that that, that drink, drink was enough to maybe dethrone my smoked turkey. It was that good. I wish I had ordered more of them. Uh, but I gave a close runner up, both at 4.5, mind you, uh, to the Messiah Gold Reserve. It's a Lebanese wine that is uh, got some delicious like Lebanese spices to it. Unfortunately, I looked at the price every left Victorian Alberts, and it's like $60 a bottle. So there's zero chance of me ever buying that wine. But it was good while This lasting. man has not stopped talking about that wine I'm since not. we've gone. And we've seen it at the store a couple I'm of times. And he refuses to pay for it. <laughs> but he definitely looks at it longingly, like wanting to have it in his life. So That wine made me my great buffalo. It's only got away. Oh. It's only got away. Dang. So, cheers to the best trick of the month. It's the best around. Now, for my favorite category of the month, worst drink of the month. So for me, the worst drink, I got the uh, Castle Flight at Cinderella's Royal Table, the Bellini version, the Bellini portion of that flight was my least favorite. Which is weird, I, she usually likes Bellinis. I rated it a two. Bear actually got that as like his main drink oh, and dear. yeah, yeah. Can't love them all. It's true. So for my worst drink of the month was actually the Blue Samurai, which is a blast from the past drink that was featured temporarily for Epcot's 40th anniversary for just a few days. Like three. Uh, I see why it's not on the menu anymore. It was a syrupy, not enjoyable mess. Gave it a two. And I don't regret that at all. Cheers to the worst. for the best appetizer or side. So for me, I, I was kind of a little bit of toss up, so I wanted to mention two. My first favorite is gonna be the gazpacho. I love gazpacho. Um, Hileo turned me on to gazpacho, but the one that we had at Victorian Alberts, my like little tiny yellow tomato gazpacho was so good. I was just dreaming about it for days. I rated it a five. And I loved it. If anybody out there had some family gazpacho recipes you want to drop in the comments. With yellow tomato. Uh, Let's go. I'll, I'll, I'll post you on Instagram. Something. But we love gazpacho in this house. So yeah. um, my number two, like my honorable mention, because like the gazpacho was so tiny. I got to mention something else. So the wild mushroom arachini. I think that's how you pronounce it. Arachini. Um, he, I think he said it per correctly. Um, that is from Citra Coast, which is a Michelin mentioned restaurant now. Michelin mentioned. Is and I mean. um, yeah, they didn't get a star. Just mentioned. Yeah. Oh, and that other restaurant. Just saying. Anyway, um, their food was amazing. Larry, our server, was Larry incredible. Was we've had him every time we've been since they reopened. Um, it was, I'm not a mushroom person, so to put a mushroom dish on like my favorite list is a big deal. And no, I, I just want to say that like it's it's worth every penny. Go to Citricos if you want a nice romantic war fine dining meal. So for my best appetizer side of the month was a surprise even to me. I gave a five out of five claws to the Boatwright's Cornbread. Now me and that cornbread have a long history and we have never gotten along. I have called that cornbread more names than I have called my worst enemy. And yet somehow they finally got it right. It was moist, it was delicious. I ate the whole loaf, took some home and still wanted more. But- Cause Taylor was serving you, wasn't it? Taylor's not cooking the food. That's true. We love Taylor Tots. She's not cooking we the do. food. And then I gave a runner-up, which is a weird one for me, to Victoria and Albert's, uh, the Royal Belgian Caviar. Now, I'm not a huge caviar connoisseur, but uh, that just worked for me. They, they shaped it like a little shape of a fish and put like a, an ink net over it. So it was like a little like a fisherman setup. Quite disgusting for the princess, yeah, but I thought jam. it was quite enjoyable enough to give it a four and a half out of five claws. Fair. 
Fair. So cheers to the best appetizer. Best. Or side. All right. Now, I have to say our worst appetizer or side, we both completely agreed with this month. Yeah, we did. So our worst number one thing that we both absolutely hated was the oatmeal from For Crystal Christmas. Palace. Crystal Palace was a surprise at how actually good breakfast was, but their oatmeal was unflavored oat water. It was not great. It was just, it's what I imagine they serve like prison gruel, that mm -hmm. level mm -hmm. of like, not, 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 just not doing it. We both gave it a one. Yes. And then our runner up was the Just Egg from Cape May. Now it did get a little bit better when we floofified it and made it better ourselves. We the mix in the tofu scramble, mm -hmm. give it some seasoning. Mm -hmm. It was runny, it was undercooked. Mm -hmm. That's part of the problem. But I gave it a two. And I gave it a two and a half. So, maybe next time. We have off days. True. But cheers to the worst, except for the oatmeal. That was just That bad. was just bad. You see, we have a short. Like, Bear just hated it. I did. I did. So, time for the best dessert of October. So, dessert, we actually had quite a few in so October. Way dessert. more than we usually do. We did I a was lot surprised. of fine dining with dessert included. And then obviously there was some cruise ship stuff in there and mm -hmm. that also had dessert included. So yeah, we deserted it up we for did. October. My favorite dessert actually ended up being the cherry rhubarb, those little baby slices that we got from Victorian Alberts. I baby didn't, pies. I liked it when we had it, and but I was so full, but then like I got to take the rest of it home with me and I ate it later as leftovers and I was obsessed. I wanted more. Little, little, little mini pies. They perfect. were so cute. That's the perfect size pie for the princess. It you know, is. Full slice, just a little bite. I just need little, little bites. bites. That's all I need. I'm like Queen Victoria. Give me dessert, but give it to me in like small bite, like tapa style, so I can just like nom it, a little bit of everything. And then for my best dessert of the month, I had the the peach raspberry cobbler from Boatwright's. Boatwright's menu. It was vegan. It was vegan. Boatwright's menu was a huge step up for me. It, it was, and yeah. I said that peach cobbler rivaled the Jack Daniels almond cake from Coral Reef. And we have stated that as our favorite dessert on property. But we need to go back since it's changed. It has changed. And if they've ruined it, I guess Boatwright's going to have a new title because y'all are messing up. So, cheers to the best. Now for the worst dessert of October. So um, one of the desserts that I got from Victoria and Albert's was a praline temple and the, the praline portion tasted burnt. Your little Sith temple. Like really burnt to me. So I just was not into it. I gave it um, a four, but ultimately I didn't eat it. So like I would amend that and give it a two. I did not. Did not enjoy that dessert at all. No. I didn't think it was that bad, but the princess did not like it. For my worst dessert of the month, we go back to Castaway K. Cookies Barbecue. You. That place was terrible. You are my new ABC commissary. I will be throwing shade at you until the end of time. Wait, well, but what? Congratulations. What about Kitel? Uh, Katal is in a whole category all of its own. You charge me eleven dollars for water. Uh, Katal will always be in its own island so, out of the middle of nowhere. So Katal is the worst, and then ABC and Cookies are tied now. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, I'm giving Cookies the crown. You Ooh. serve me disgusting pork, and then a gross brownie that reminded me of a kid cuisine microwave brownie. It was awful, awful. Okay, absolutely awful. Awful. I will never forgive you for that. That will be stuck in my memory for the rest of the time. That you guys saw in the video. If you haven't seen it, go back to Cookie's video. Watch me complain about how disgusting that pulled it pork in the so brownie nasty. was. The short video, it won't take you very long. Give it's it a true. watch. Be prepared, going to cast away K. You may not eat good. I mean, why aren't you watching all of our videos anyway? It's a question. It's a legitimate question. So cheers to the worst. You will not be missed. 
We don't uh, do any like festival specific videos, nope. even though we had we had some wine, we items. had Halloween Horror Nights. We pretty much covered both already, so we're just gonna get right into the necessity list, and that's gonna be the end of that for this month. But nope. next month, you know, we have we've got a new festival too. Yeah, the um, we have. Uh, we'll, we'll discuss our, our future stuff after we go over the necessities. So, the bare necessities Getting list. ahead of ourselves. Because, you know, bare necessities. It's how we uh, come Look through. for the bare necessities. The no, simple like bare necessities. Uh, so, first up. about your worries and your strife. The Epcot 4th anniversary Violet Sake. Bare Hasn't changed. It's just a sample portion of Violet Sake that you can get either at House of Sake or Ye Sake at Disney Springs. Then we have the Kentucky mm -hmm. Bourbon Barrel Ale at Epcot, mm -hmm. because anytime I can get that beer, just like when I got on the Wish, it is a guaranteed five out of five claws. If you have not tried that beer, it's serving in America, go get you some. But if you would pick the raw paw, then next time, beware. Next up, we have the Swine Brine, because it's always Swine Brine season in our hearts. If you go to the uh, <clears throat> what's left of the Food and Wine Festival, get a Swine Brine from me. I'll be there in spirit, choosing you with a big hunk of meat. The bees are the buzzing in the tree, just making honey just for me. And then next up, we have the uh, Buena Vista Shop it's Shell Taco, like which is actually the Princess's Taco from the 1923 restaurant in Disney Wish. Uh, it was oh, her yeah. those were little like quinoa taco. I was in love with those tacos. Much better than I like my own food in 1923. I dream of those tacos. We have never made quinoa that good at home. I miss We've topics. had a few good quinoa dishes recently with uh, the Wish and Kona, which you'll see in our next recap video. Okay. And then I also had the house-made rigatoni from Citricose, which I think is a five out of five claws bare necessity for all of our plant-based people, even surprising. some of our non-vegans. Give it a shot. Very surprising. It's a nice, hearty meal. And you don't even need the meat. You don't miss it. It's very, very good. Then we have the sea bass and puff pastry from Mr. Paul. Mr. Paul was an experience for sure. It was a bit on the price. He's had another fine dining, but that puff pastry in the shape of a fish, that's my boy. I call him Paul. Paul. Paul was good eating. Even though Reddit was very mad at you about that. Yeah, yeah Reddit was. Reddit hell said mad it was super that. burnt. Burnt? They didn't like the plating? They thought the server should Reddit be fired. Y'all were really cool. rude. Like these are team members. Like you're calm down. We were on day two at, at once your fall, and opened. Reddit was ripping them apart. We were very sad yeah. for the team, but anyway, it was still good. I recommend it if you go. And last up was the Kellerin tofu curry. That was amazing. Oh, that was from Crystal Palace. It was one of your dishes, actually. Yeah. It's actually on the buffet. Now, that's something they make for you and bring out. It's on the buffet. That's a delicious curry block of tofu. One a little non, like, patty flavor of the sauce. Absolutely amazing. So I could go there. If I can just get that to go, I would be amazing. Oh, my God, yes. So, yes. That is my bare necessities list for October. Mine is unfortunately way longer than bears. Princess likes to eat. All right, so all of my things for the princessities list are rated a five. So I'm just going to preface by saying that. So uh, American Pavilion, the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Ale, that is one that we both love and appreciate and have loved and appreciated for many years. That's just always on the necessity list. The Indonesia Organic Coffee Fair Trade Coffee from Victorian Alberts. You will not experience a better coffee experience than going there and just watching the coffee maker do its thing. Even though it's not the same one as the past, it's still a beautiful, it's the same general idea. beautiful coffee maker. Beautiful coffee, delicious coffee. Even Bear drank the coffee when he's not supposed to and really enjoyed it. So absolutely. Take advantage of the coffee when you go to Victorian Alberts. Or if you go to Joffrey's, they sell the Victorian Alberts coffee. Buy the Victorian Alberts coffee and just make it for yourself at home. It's still amazing. 
the cookies and cream chocolate mousse from sunshine seasons 100 percent is a necessity anytime you go to epcot if you want a good vegan dessert yeah, it's been on the menu for a while it's amazing. probably not going anywhere anytime it's soon. amazing get that uh, the spinach and artichoke dip, we got at Boat Rides. It's actually available at River Roost. Your server, it's at your server's discretion whether or not they're going to serve it to you at Boat Rides. But absolutely, you can get it at River Roost. I love the little Mickey uh, cornbread croissantini in it. However, I do recommend that you get the regular cornbread to go with it or the vegan cornbread if you're, you're, you're vegan. Run, you're running out of crusty meats really quickly. I do think that it tastes better with the cornbread than the hard, crunchy cornbread crostinis, personally. The... Um, wild mushroom... Ar or, or, Arasini? However, Bear says it. Um, from Citricos that we talked about earlier. I loved that. I think that's a great um, entry for anybody. And with little rice and little crusties, it's, it's amazing. It's incredible. It's worth your time in Citricos. The fresh strawberries served in passion fruit juice from victorian alberts for dessert was absolutely incredible and on my necessity list the carrot tiki masala from victorian alberts i couldn't finish the plate because i was so full but i absolutely loved all of the flavors they were incredible highly recommend getting to victorian alberts if you can i kind of feel like our reviews were a little biased towards victorian alberts this month just because of how many amazing things that we had but luckily we also had other competitors like monsieur paul who had their butternut soup on my necessities list because the butternut soup was incredible like so incredible um compared to everything else that i had at monsieur paul that was absolutely my favorite thing that i had there um and then the housemade rigatoni from citricos with their vegan egg you will not find anything with that beautiful tomato freezing process anywhere else on disney property outside of citricos 100 percent is a necessity if you are vegan and you want to try something new or you want to do fine dining you want a romantic date whatever whatever citricos is your choice if you can't get into victorian alberts or you want something at a lower price point the Royal Avocado Toast from Cinderella's Royal Table was amazing as an absolute forest on top of avocado. It was not good until I asked for my Just Egg. To, um, so they brought that for me on the side and once I added that to the toast, 100% that made that good. It's not as good as the um, Steakhouse 71 avocado toast, but we didn't review that this month. So this one is on my princessities list. But if you're going to pick between Cinderella's Royal Table and Steakhouse 71, absolutely Steakhouse 71 is the choice no argument there. for breakfast or brunch. And then finally, um, what was also on Bear's list, the Curlion. I probably butchered that tofu curry from Crystal Palace. That lovely little like nuggy of tofu with the curry sauce on top with the little naan. Like, yes, I want that as like a walking snack dish. Let's take that everywhere that we go. And I need it in my life. And that's my list. It's 10 times longer than bears this month. And I don't know. I guess I'm okay with that. So that is a recap for October whole bunch of delicious items for you and the community. Let us know what you guys thought about each and every one of those reviews. We have great things planned for you in the month of November. We have some new festivals You've starting. Some There's some already. holiday stuff starting. You know, you're we already like a week and a half into the month as it is anyway. We have more stuff coming for you. Yes, we do. So if there's anything else you guys like to see, by all means, the comments, as you know, it's always in place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Woo! We will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, how are we ever going to know if we should continue to do recap videos into 2023? What if we just quit doing recaps? You heard the girl. <laughs>